Hey guys, this is Gabby from Brain Education TV. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. We make weekly videos on wellness tips for the brain. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. In this video, I will talk about letting go of the past and attachments to free your emotional self for a fresh start. You can do this for letting go of the year 2020 and welcoming the new year, or other attachments that you've been holding on to. So first, let's talk about 2020 and what a year it's been. There was lots of chaos and hardships, but it did give everyone a chance to breathe and take a step back and really realize what's important in life. But if you're still attached to the stresses, uncertainty, and chaos of 2020, Let's first see why it's important to get rid of the stresses of the year and move on and start 2021 on a positive note. The first reason is when you hold on to these negative things inside, it's bad not only for your emotional health, but also for your physical health. Anger, resentment, and sadness bottle up in your body and it can cause fatigue, autoimmune diseases, depression, high blood pressure, and more. Research shows that when you let go, you can improve your blood pressure, improve your breathing to a more normal breathing, and also sleep a lot better. Your body will definitely thank you. Founder of Brain Education, Ilchi Lee, even says that all your worries, stresses, and diseases are based on what you're holding on to. If you can't let them go, they won't disappear. The second reason why it's important to let go of attachments is because emotional pain prevents you from healing and growth. If you don't move on from something that emotionally hurt you, it will be with you forever and you'll keep experiencing those thoughts and those memories. So now let's get into four ways to let go of negative thoughts, emotions, and attachments. Number one, create a positive mantra to counter negative thoughts. You can reframe your thinking with a simple positive mantra that you say in the morning or before you go to sleep or throughout the day when you're feeling these negative thoughts come up. Instead of thinking things like, I can't believe this happened to me, try to reframe your thinking to thinking things like, I am fortunate that I was able to learn and change from this experience. Number two, create physical distance. If you have a person or a situation that is constantly reminding you of an attachment or some stresses, it is good to physically distance yourself at least for a little bit of time. If you can't for forever, that's okay, but at least a little bit of time to refresh your environment and refresh your energy. Number three, don't bottle up your emotions. If you're afraid of expressing emotions like grief, sadness, or anger, that's very normal. Most people do not want to express those. But if you try to ignore them and shut them out, they will just stay inside you forever. Think about your emotional body like a water bottle. If you fill the water bottle with dirt and try to cover it up with water, the dirt will still be there. So you actually have to clean out and take the dirt out of the water bottle to get rid of it altogether. Number four, surround yourself with positivity. Allow yourself to be around people who lift you up. If you're around people who constantly bring you down and constantly are negative, that will make your outlook and perspective negative as well and make it also harder for you to get rid of whatever you need to get rid of. Yes, it's been a lot harder due to the pandemic and more isolation, there's been more depression and anxiety, but if you have those people that really make your day brighter, are a positive influence on you, try to keep them around. So try to prioritize who you keep around you. That will help you stay more positive and also not get attached to negativity. 
Okay, that's all for my tips on how to let go of attachments. If 2020 was especially a difficult year for you, I hope this was helpful to learn some ways to kind of let go of that chaos and all that uncertainty and stress that we all had to go through. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them down in the comment section below. We will try to answer all of them. We look at all of them. And thank you for tuning in today and I'll see you in another video.